Norway is taking on its most significant engineering challenge yet, the world's largest ship tunnel. The Stad ship tunnel is an incredible project that aims to transform how ships travel. Costing $308 million, this tunnel is said to be 1.7 kilometers long, 37 meters high, and 26.5 meters wide. It's designed to allow ships weighing up to 16,000 tons to pass through. What makes this tunnel unique is its location, the Stad Peninsula, known as one of the most dangerous places for ships. Building the Stad ship tunnel is a massive task, especially in such risky conditions. How are they making this ambitious project a reality? And what cool methods and technologies are they using? Join us on Superstructures to find out. The need for the Stad ship tunnel arises from the treacherous conditions around Norway's Stad Peninsula. This region, characterized by challenging geography, including hills and mountains, and an extensive coastline, experiences extremely dangerous waters. Norway has previously addressed similar challenges by constructing tunnels like the Lairdal Tunnel, one of the world's longest at 24.5 kilometers. The seas around the Stad Peninsula are notorious for massive waves, strong winds, and unpredictable storms, making maritime travel hazardous. The Stad Ship Tunnel offers a solution to this problem, providing a safe shortcut for ships to navigate through calm and protected waters, avoiding the risks and delays posed by the rough seas. Even the Vikings, known for their maritime expertise, faced difficulties in this area, having to carry their long ships across the Stad Peninsula, where the tunnel is now being built. The concept of creating a passage for maritime vessels through challenging coastal waters, known as portage, has a long history, dating back to practices by the Vikings and gaining attention in 1874 when a Norwegian newspaper, Norge Bergenhus, proposed a railway tunnel for boats across the Stad Peninsula. While this idea resurfaced in the late 20th century, it became part of Norway's national transport plan for 2014 to 2023. The Stad Ship Tunnel aims to transform a hazardous sea route into a secure path, revolutionizing maritime travel in the region. Notably, it is designed to accommodate large cruise ships like the Hurtigruten and Havila Kaisruten, setting it apart as the world's largest full-scale ship tunnel. Overseen by the Norwegian Coastal Administration, the project's budget has grown from the initial estimate of $132 million to over $220 million reflecting the commitment to providing a safer and more reliable navigation route around the challenging Stad Peninsula. Now, let's delve into the engineering process driving this ambitious coastal project. The construction process of the Stad Ship Tunnel employs conventional road-building techniques, commencing with underground drilling and the controlled use of explosives for efficiency. Expertise in underground drilling is a critical component of this project. Construction is set to initiate at both ends of the peninsula, with the two tunnels meeting in the middle to create an interconnected passage. Following drilling, the tunnel's roof and walls will be fortified with concrete, and service lanes will be added. The subsequent phase involves the excavation of materials within the tunnel, progressing layer by layer downward. Temporary cofferdams, designed by the renowned Norwegian architecture firm Snowheda, are installed at each entrance to prevent seawater intrusion and facilitate safe excavation below sea level. The excavation is expected to yield approximately 4.4 million cubic meters of rock, equivalent to 750,000 truckloads. Upon completion, the focus shifts to installing lighting and gradually filling the tunnel with water, after which the coffer dams are removed. Transforming the massive amount of excavated rock, equivalent in weight to 35 of the world's largest cruise ships, poses a significant challenge due to the inadequate road infrastructure around the peninsula. To address this, barges are utilized for the transportation of the rock material. Before its construction, the Stad Ship Tunnel underwent extensive research and testing to ensure its feasibility. This included simulations in a testing pool specifically conducted to confirm safe ship navigation through the tunnel. Additionally, digital models were used to visualize ship approaches and effectively manage tunnel traffic. Key findings from these tests revealed several important features. Firstly, the implementation of traffic light systems at each end of the tunnel ensures orderly navigation. Secondly, the tunnel has the capacity to handle up to five large ships per hour, maintaining a minimum distance of 400 meters between them. Additionally, provisions are made for smaller ships to pass simultaneously. Ships traversing the tunnel will be limited to a maximum speed of five knots. The completion of this tunnel will offer significant benefits to Norway's maritime operations. 
The primary advantage of the Stadship Tunnel is providing a safe passage through the peninsula, significantly reducing the risk of maritime accidents and casualties. The tunnel is also set to deliver considerable economic benefits. By allowing ships to bypass the Stad Peninsula, the tunnel will reduce travel distances by approximately 56 kilometers, translating into significant time and fuel savings for shipping companies. This reduction in travel time and costs is expected to have a ripple effect on the efficiency of shipping operations, potentially leading to lower costs for transported goods. Additionally, the colossal tunnel will aid in reducing emissions from ships, contributing to environmental sustainability. Researchers estimate a reduction in fuel consumption by about 60% for ships around 40 meters in length and 30% for larger vessels around 140 meters long. However, this ambitious project comes with a series of challenges and delays that have impacted its progress. Initially planned to start in 2022, the commencement of construction has been pushed back due to several key factors, leading to significant alterations in the project's timeline and budget. One of the primary challenges has been the pioneering nature of the project. Building a tunnel of the scale for ships is unprecedented, bringing with it a host of unique engineering and logistical challenges. This is not a standard road tunnel. The Stad Ship Tunnel requires adaptation to marine conditions like seawater and fog, demanding more advanced and robust construction techniques. This complexity has necessitated additional research and refinement, inevitably leading to delays. Economic feasibility has also been a major concern. A critical report by Det Norsk Veritas in 2011 casts doubt on the tunnel's cost-effectiveness, indicating that the expenses might outweigh the benefits. Right now, the focus is on getting everything ready to start construction. The Norwegian Coastal Administration is in charge, and they're about to choose the companies that will build the tunnel. They plan to sign contracts by the third quarter of 2024. This means that actual construction might start by the end of 2024. Once they start building, it's going to take around five to six years to finish. So if everything goes as planned, the tunnel should be ready by around 2028 or 2029. It's a big step forward in engineering and could change how we think about building tunnels for ships. So, would you go to Norway to check out the Stad Ship Tunnel? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Superstructures for more fascinating engineering insights. Thank you for watching.